Hi guys and welcome to a cultured left foot to the new little feature I'm going to do called what if and um, the first one is going to start with Francesco Totti so what if Totti was in the game as a 20 year old um, I have gone back into I've gone into the editor uh, changed his date of birth to 1995 which started him off as 19 going on 20 in the first year of football manager 16 um, and here we are Three years later, so we've just got to the end of the third season in Football Manager 16, and Totti is still at Roma. He is worth a whopping 47 million. Um, he's on a contract of 130k. So he's been given a new contract recently because he started on 60 grand a year. Um, so there you go. Started in 2017, so last year, um, and he signed it for what's that? Five years. He is. Again, and they've trained him up as an attacking midfielder as well, which is interesting because he was only a striker when the game started. Um, anyway, looking back at his stats. So the first year, he scored 14 goals in 32 appearances. That tailed off the next year with 8 goals in 38. And then he scored 13 in 37. Um, we would assume he has been playing slightly out of uh, position. So... In the league, in 2015-16, he got 14 in 30. It was 8 in 38, so he didn't play any other games other than league games in that season. And again, only played league games. Yeah, only played league games in that season. Um, he is wanted at the moment by Real Madrid. Um, well, that would be an interesting transfer if that goes through. They'll have to break the bank for him. But yeah, um, how have his club done anyway? So Roma, first season they finished second. Um, sorry, so no, yeah, they, they did, yeah. First season of FM they finished second. Then they dropped down to fourth. And this year they have finished second again behind Juventus' whopping 101. Um, so if we go... Oh, nope, sorry, not that one. Well, we can have a quick look here. So yeah, they finished second. Then we know they finished fourth and then second again. Um, if we go to stages so in the first year they finished behind Juventus again Juventus won it again in the second season with Roma finishing fourth with a well, disappointing 66 points after the 73 they got the year before and then this season they finished on 74 points behind Juventus on 101 um, Totti is the key player and the captain um, I assume he has made his say way back into the Italian team uh, yep he has there he is um, starting up front for them alongside Baraldi so yeah he seems to be doing well he has been linked to uh, ooh, where, where, where am I going where am I going let's go back to go back to the man himself so he is wanted by Real Madrid let's see how they've done so this year they finished uh, second behind Barcelona got 92 points but if we go and see how they've done previously so that was this year yeah 87 points behind Barcelona's 92 the year before that they won it ahead of Atletico Madrid with Barcelona coming third with 91 points and the year before that, a whopping 101 points won Real Madrid the league. So, who have Real Madrid got in their team at the moment? And who, if Totti moved, who would he replace? So, the last team they picked was Hesse up front with Ronaldo on the left, Mane on the right, and Bernardo Silva. So, Totti would likely take the striker's role off Hesse, or play a backup to him, which would be interesting. Or the midfield attacking midfield role of Bernardo Silva, who again would be interesting if they signed him to replace Bernardo Silva. We'll have a quick flick round the leagues. Now we've looked at Syria and La Liga. Let's have a quick look at League One, oh, not League Twenty One, League One. Um, so this year Monaco actually won it ahead of Paris Saint Germain, um, which is quite interesting. Normally Paris Saint Germain absolutely dominate well we can see here Monaco have actually dominated um, if we go back and look at the past years so it's actually Monaco won it by a point ahead of Olympic Marseille and Paris Saint-Germain came third um, and then 
those and then Paris Saint Germain in the first year came second, six points behind Monaco, with Lyon in third, quite a bit off the pace though. Um if we look at the world um finances wise, Arsenal still at the top, Madrid, Man United, Liverpool, Barcelona. Um and Roma sit down here in twenty eighth, so they're still in, you know, the top thirty richest clubs in the world. Uh transfers wise um yeah, if we go all So oh I don't wanna do Right, hang on, you'll have to give me a second here. Um Right, if we go to uh so January, the January transfer window saw so Daily Blind move from let's go back, sorry, this doesn't make sense, does it? Let's go right back to the beginning. So right. When the first game first loaded up, Johnny was the biggest transfer from Celta to Paris Saint-Germain for 13.25 million. Um, and he's not there anymore, he's moved on to Tottenham, so he'll probably come back up in this list. Um, in September, Mario Fernandez. it's a common move that happens on Football Manager, he moved to Man United for 14.75. And if we move on into January, so 35.5 million was Laporte to Man United, again a common transfer that happens in Football Manager. Um, 16 this year um, but there, yeah the prices are, are, are going up ever so slightly Javi Martinez to Arsenal is an interesting one and Bernardo Silva to Chelsea who is now at Madrid um, going from January if we go to the end of the season sorry I'm going to click on June so 41 million John Stones moved to Man City for 41 million Diego Costa moved to Paris Saint-Germain for 39 and a half interesting um, and then a massive drop off to Giovanni dos Santos moving for 8.75 in June. Anything happened in July? 73 million for Alvaro Morata. That's um, staggering. That's absolutely. How, how's he done since his move? 17 goals in 32 and 21 goals in 37. Not bad, yeah. Don't know if it quite warrants 73 million. But Cavani moved from Paris Saint Germain to Chelsea. 61 million. And Gonzalo Higuan from Napoli to Arsenal. I'd be interested, guys, if any of you guys have done a, a save like this in the future, go back and look at your transfers and see if any of these are very similar, see if there's a pattern. And then August, the money was still being spent. Uh, Berardi from Sassuolo to Man City, Barimi from Porto to Juventus, and Lacazette from Lyon to Madrid. I didn't see him in their squad. Oh, he is still there. He is still there. I just obviously didn't clock him. Um, and an interesting one is Son Hyung min He... Is at Liverpool. I was going to say he always moves to Liverpool in my games, but he has ended up at Liverpool after a bit of a failed season at Bayern Munich. Um, uh, right, and then we'll move into 2017. So in January 2017, Daily Blind, as we saw earlier, was Man United to Paris Saint Germain. Rafina moved to Bayern Munich, and Philippe Sacido moved from Espanyol to Napoli. Interesting, Chambers moved to Man United for 22 million from Arsenal. Um, that's when Bernardo Silva moved from Chelsea to Madrid for 20.5 million and Inigo Martinez moved from Barcelona to Man United as well. Into the summer of 2017, um, Everton, Man City bought another English player from Man City, uh, from Everton, sorry, 50 million for Ross Barkley. That is an obscene amount for Ross Barkley in my eyes, but, um, and he hasn't even done for a 6.6 average rating. That's really poor for the money they've outlaid there. Uh, Sevilla to Monaco was Ziv Zivkovic and Lucas Digne was Juventus to Paris Saint Germain for 21 and a half. So PSG have been waving their cash around, it seems. Moving on to July, um, Memphis Dubai moved to Madrid for 53 million. Um, that is a that's a bit again big transfer happening. Excuse me, Douglas Costa from Liverpool to Barcelona and Florenzi to Roma to Bayern. Moving into August. Um, Icardi from Inter to Dortmund was interesting. Riedeveld, Ajax to Bayern. And Jerry Senjuste to Heravine to Atletico. I've never, it must be a region because I've never heard it. It's not a region. Oh, I'll have to look him up in my game, see if I can sneak him in under the radar. Um, and then into 2018, in January 2018, William Carvalho was still at Sporting, but PSG again was throwing, throwing their cash around for 44.5 million. Another Everton player to Man City was James McCarthy for 36.5. 
God, that's a lot of money. That total was over 110 million sent f from Man City to Everton. Um, Paco Alcazar from Valencia to United and Goncalo Guedes from Benfica to Man United do the top four there. And we've just got to the end of the season, so we're just coming into the summer now. Will Totti get his move? Um, as I say, we'll go we'll go back to Totti and just have a quick look at his stats. As I said, I didn't change anything in the editor other than his date of birth. So um, his caps have already been the same. His stats stayed the same. I can tell you his physicals have improved um, somewhat. Um, but yeah, he hasn't actually won anything with Roma since we put him back. So we'll have to see if he gets a bit annoyed by that. Um, uh, he hasn't. Oh, I've got a scout in, which I obviously can't do. I, and I forgot to put the in-game editor on. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you'll like the idea of this video. We'll come back again in two years' time, or three years' time again, and see how he's improved and see if he's got that big money move to Madrid. Interesting to know that the amount of money that's been thrown around, he's already worth similar to the biggest values that have gone. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Anyway, hit a like button if you like the idea of this, um, and hopefully there'll be some more in the future. And I shall speak to you in a bit. Cheers. Cheers.